Uh, uh, season four, episode thirty-four. Yeah, we got it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, here we go. Let's introduce ourselves. I'm Jeff. Welcome to the show, Jeff. It could be. It's gonna be a good one today. How about our other host over there? Uh, no Thompson. All right. BT. Yeah. Producer. <coughs> Super producer. Whoa. Thank you. <laughs> Susie in the house. You know, guys. You are I pause. <laughs> All right. Um, and how about our sound and video engineer? I am Ryan, the sound and video engineer. Okay. And Whitney and Alex, would you like to introduce yourself? Hello, I'm Whitney. I'm Alex. And I'm Pete. Welcome back. All right, guys. Big show today. Big show. Noel, who are we interviewing? Uh, J- Jessica and Jordan. From where? Sweet Jordan's Baker. That's right. Sweet Jordan's Bakery. Another spotlight um, on an independent business by um, someone that I feel the Strive community would be interested in. So another great job by Alex getting us exciting guests. Mm-hmm. So, all right. Should we, should we just jump in or anything we want to talk about before we get started? We should talk a bit. Okay. About what? About the show. I think that we should start off by saying thank you to everybody that participated in Strive Rocks over the weekend. We talked a lot about that in previous shows, and yes, we like that, the event has come and gone. So thank you to everyone that participated, that donated, that sponsored. With your help, we were able to raise over $82,000 for Strive, which is amazing. So thank you. Wow. Thank you. Yes, thank you. You too. Put out our biggest number and plus, not only that, I have a special gift to show out to Whitney. Thank you, Whitney, to get me those earpods. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Susie came in second of all the fundraisers. Um, this year so she got a special prize and she selected if you're a, a current a follower of, a, of our podcast you know that Susie loves herself some headphones and any sort of listening devices and so she's got some she, new earpods she, and she has won so many headphones too. She has loves won headphones. so many headphones <laughs> I do oh, I will give one to you after the pod <laughs> well there you go okay oh. Okay. Well, thanks again, everybody that participated in Stry Rocks. Um, and if you didn't, you missed out. So we hope to see you next year. Yep. Okay. Anything else before we get started? Um, I don't think so. All right. Then, Jeff, you want to take us to break? Uh, yes, Pete. I'll do that for you, buddy. Okay. We'll be right back. Welcome to the Strivecast. Can you tell us about Sweet Jordan's Bakery? Yes. So we started Sweet Jordan's um, going on five years ago. We'll celebrate five years in August. Oh, no, no. I'm sorry. It's 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 September 1st. Oh, sorry. September 1st. August 30th or 31st or... But yeah, so right around September 1st, I'll go with Jordan's day, right around September 1st, we started uh, Sweet Jordan's and um, it's kind of started with a bunch of our family recipes that we had, uh, that we had around the house and um, started with my great aunt Ethel's cookie recipe. And it kind of grew from there where someone's like, man, you guys should do ice cream. And we were like, hey, let's do ice cream. And then someone said, you guys should open a coffee shop. So we opened a coffee shop right on um, on the other side of our building. So 
it's it's grown it's grown quite a bit. That's great. Yes. <laughs> All right, Jeff. Uh yes, uh Pete. You're up. What made you want to want to start a company? Right. So I'll tell you, we started our company because whenever Jordan graduated high school, there wasn't a lot for him to do after high school. Um, he mainly would just sit around the house and, and watch Price is Right and yeah. Jeopardy. Those are his two favorite shows, right? Yeah, so, uh, I'm sorry. Oh, go ahead. Go uh, ahead. Cause, cause, uh, I, I always, um, I, I wish uh, I, could, uh, I could be on, on the show. You want to be on the show, right? Yeah. You want to be Drew Carey. Yeah. He always yells uh, out, a brand new <laughs> car. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but, but, but I'm saying I, I wish I could be on it. Like, mm -hmm. I, I, I could be as a, a, a celebrity. The price is right at night. Price is right at so, night. Okay. So, 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 so I'm going to have everybody, you know, policy games, mm -hmm. doing a big wheel, how much my charity is. You want to help them spin the big wheel? Yeah, how much my charity is. And, and, um, and I'm going to have yeah. everybody's policy games. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to get, 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 give away all the showcases. Give away all the showcases. Well, there you go. <laughs> so you can see he's very passionate about Price is Right, which he still gets to watch at home, but he doesn't sit at home all day and watch. So whenever we found these family recipes, we saw that was something Jordan was really good at was rolling the cookie dough balls to the perfect size that we needed to get a perfect chocolate chip cookie um, or a peanut butter cookie. And so him and my dad love to bake together. And so we thought, man, you know what? This, this could be a business. Let's take what we love doing together with Jordan, which is baking. And um, let's open a, a small little restaurant. Uh, little did we know that there are more people just like Jordan who need the opportunity after high school to have a job. And um, so more people came and said, well, can I work there? Can I work there? And so this ended up being much bigger than we had originally thought it would be. <laughs> You guys are in um, Tennessee, correct? We're in Paris, Tennessee, right next to the Eiffel Tower. All right. <laughs> Very oh, I have nothing about the Eiffel Tower. Okay. Pardon? Um, one, of, one of my best friends from Yarmouth gave me a picture of the Eiffel Tower. Oh, that's cool. Ours isn't as big as the real one, but it's it's still it's pretty cool. But you can't climb it because that's illegal. That's what they tell me, anyways. <laughs> right. um, Noel, you're up with your next question. That was the best part of your job. Ooh, what's the best part of our job? I gotta say, for me, it's probably sampling ever all the food. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I say that. Um, I, I love, I gotta be, I really love coming to work and having um, Jordan here and all of our team members that um, they're always so happy. And it's, it's just, it's a good fun day. We like to play a lot of practical jokes on each other, don't we? What is your favorite part about working, working here? Uh, I, I just, um, I, my, 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 just my, my favorite part about working is, um, uh, I just want to it's just, it's just spending time with my girls. You know, spending time with your girls and hanging out with all of our employees. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, and also, you know, best of all, uh, I did the, uh, I, I, I always, when you met, if you customers, uh, I he likes to run the cash register, uh, yeah, and ring up the customers. Right. That's it, yeah. yeah. They, 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 they mm -hmm. have a, a lunch hours. If they have a lunch, yeah. You like to ring them up and do the register. Yeah. He likes to talk to all the customers. <laughs> um, Jeff, you're up next. Okay, thank you, Pete. Um, uh, what are some uh, challenges you face in your job? Ooh, some challenges we face. Um, well, so I'll tell you for the last uh, for the last couple of years, it's been hard to hire people. We actually need to need to hire more people for sure, and um, so that's that's been a big challenge of trying to just run a business in general. And I feel like everyone's kind of struggling to find people to work. But, um, but definitely in the restaurant industry, it's hard to find people um, that want to work. Um, see, I think, I think um, 
you know, just making sure everyone knows that whenever you come in to see Jordans, it's a different kind of experience. And so you might have to be a little bit more patient with us, um, but we're going to get your order right and we're going to get it right with a smile. <laughs> Jordan, what is, what is the hardest thing for you? What is the hardest thing that we deal with? Well, uh, I don't know. I just, you don't know? Um, is everything a breeze? <laughs> yeah. I mean, just, 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 just sometimes uh, all my girls and all, all my sons, they, they always loved, um, they get, 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 get on to me. They, they always love to get on to their, their, their daddy. They get on to you about drinking soda, don't they? No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, um, they do. <laughs> Yeah, they yeah, said you can't have yeah, her beer, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 but but but, but I'm saying that my uh, uh, among my sons, mm -hmm. they also love to uh, get on get on to the the, the, the daddy. Mm -hmm. They they love uh, get on get on to the, the dad. Yep, uh, that's but, right. That happens. They, they're all playing with me. They love to mess around with you, don't they? Yeah, uh, my girls, my sons, they love yeah. to play with the daddy. <laughs> Um, we we get on Noel when he's having soda too, right, Noel? I haven't had it all week. I know. <laughs> well, good for you, Noel. Yeah. yeah, Jordan, we've had to cut back on sodas, um, mm -hmm. trying to get that weight down, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. And I do too sometimes, surely. Yeah. <laughs> so I think it's okay to have every once in a while, right? Right. Yeah, yeah but also, um, I'm not going to let you know. That I, I I found a, a girlfriend. He found a girlfriend. Uh, mm -hmm. and, uh, her, her name is Katie. Mm-hmm. And she has Down syndrome, like me. She has Down syndrome, like you. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, she lives in Missouri. Yeah, she lives in Missouri. It's a little yeah. bit away from us. Uh, uh, from um, so me and her to have a our, our first date. Yep. Like like probably like a, a five. Five or six dates. Yep, you're gonna have five or six dates yeah, for sure. Dates, sure. I think I think Jeff might have a question for us. Uh, Another yeah, question. I'm sorry. Is it Jeff's turn or is yeah, it? I Noel's? think it is. You got it. Okay, I, I think I was kind of that right. I didn't know where that was going. I thought I'd go to Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, what? Uh, your third one, Jeff. Uh, yes, I know. Uh, I know, Pete. I got this. Um, My bad. What? Uh, what um, advice you would uh, you do get to the? I don't know. This one's hard. Um. Uh, uh, Pete, this one's hard. Want some help, Jeff? Yeah, this one's really hard. I'm just trying to spell. All right, what advice would you give others who want to start a company? Yeah, that's it. Oh, that's a good. That's a good question. Yeah. Um, so our business model, we actually were asked this. Um, oh gosh, I forget what magazine. It's a business. Ma it's a business magazine, and they never published our story. I don't know why. Uh, because we said our business model is to listen to God and do what he says. <laughs> so we really do. We follow whatever God leads us to do. We do it. And, um, you know, we felt led to open the bakery. We felt led to open the coffee shop. Um, we mm -hmm. have been asked to come into other locations, like other towns. Wow. And we've said no to some or not yet to some because we didn't feel like God said go. Um, we're about to open two new locations in towns near us. There's one in McKenzie, Tennessee by Bethel University, and there's another one in Dover, Tennessee. We're going to open before the end of the year. Um, and both of those locations, we felt like God said, yes, it's time. So we're, we're doing it. So if I can give any advice for anyone that wants to start a company, it would be, um, for sure, pray, pray really hard and, and listen to what God is leading you to do. Um, sometimes we get, it gets very tricky in business. Sometimes if you, if you, if you go too soon, it, it's, you're going to get ahead, too ahead of yourself. And if you start too late, you missed a great opportunity. So pray for God on the timing for sure. Hey, oh, sorry. Go ahead, Noel. Take us off the track. Hey, go ahead. Jeff, I have a, a, a two. 
but go ahead go ahead okay what are your great no goals for your company goals for our company um so we definitely want to be um we definitely want to be in more communities we've found that uh, there's more opportunities in large cities. We don't really go, want to go to the big cities. We want to go to the small towns that need more of an opportunity. Um, but we do want to be all over. Uh, we are looking um, right now, we're kind of praying about locations in Indiana and Kentucky and Alabama, Mississippi, Missouri, yeah, 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 North, North, Carolina. <laughs> North Carolina. These are all places that Jordan has had a dream about, which, so who knows, who knows dreams might come true, but um you know, we're, we're praying about expanding because we know that this needs to be everywhere. Everyone, everywhere needs the opportunity. So those are our goals. And in the meantime, if you are listening from somewhere outside of the area, then mm -hmm. people can buy things through the website, correct? Yes, they can go to www.sweetjordans.com. It's all lowercase. And they can buy our cookies. Um, we're working on getting our ice cream to be able to be shipped. We're trying to find a... Yeah, that was, that's going to be really awesome if we can get that going. Um, but they can buy any of our T-shirts, our hats, our famous Sweet Jordan seasoning that we put on all of our uh, all of our chicken and, and um, that we put on our salads. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think. There's a lot of stuff on our website that you can go and look and hear more about Jordan's story because he has an incredible story about when he was a little baby. Yeah, yeah. But, but also, uh, I, I need to tell you about something about we just we have we having a a chance to happens a chance to happens well um so so that's the past a few weeks that like um probably uh, two 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 weeks ago but uh -huh. back in October last I know remember I I was I was in a ho ho hospital and uh, they they brought them among us. Yeah, and, that and, was that yeah, was a year ago. Yeah, that's a year ago, and I was, I, I, I was, um, so so I was saying I I um I hear the way that I popped, uh, on my knee and I popped. It's, right. Yes. Yes. You you tore your meniscus. I, I, I turned up my too. meniscus yeah. and, and I got I got. But it's it. okay. You're you're feeling better now. You're yeah, feeling yeah, better. Yeah, they yeah, have more yeah, questions to ask us, baby. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. I know that meniscus from two years ago. It'll I get uh, you. I, I don't want to say I, 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 I'm going to die by then. So I'm not, Could it, I know. we're a little dramatic too. Well, glad <laughs> we're glad you're, you're feeling better. Yeah, we are I, so I, glad I, you're feeling I, better. I passed away by then. Goodness gracious. Well, they have some more questions. Okay. Well, I think that you like to have fun like we do. So maybe we can switch to the lightning round here. And um, Let's Jeff, do you it. Really kick off the, the lightning round. Want to go with a lightning round question? What is your know, favorite food and why? What, favorite food? What's your uh, favorite food? Okay, go. Um, you have to go fast. Okay, <laughs> so I, I like um, a chicken bacon ranch sandwich. Chicken bacon ranch sandwich. Yeah, I, I like the... Uh, the um, uh, um, uh, what, 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 wraps. A wrap, yeah. And, a grilled uh, chicken wrap. I, I like, uh, uh, good chicken salads. Mm -hmm. I like soups. I like sushi. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I like sushi. I, That's I, my I favorite like food. Steaks, yeah. burgers, hot dogs. Steaks, burgers, hot dogs. He's a meat a, a sushi guy. <laughs> All right, Noel, lightning round to you. Okay, what is your best cartoon show? Ooh. Ooh, what's your uh, favorite okay, so, cartoon uh, show? Oh, a cartoon, okay. Um, I like the, um, I like uh, lo, 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 Little Bears. Little Bear. And uh, like, uh, Franklin. Franklin, that's a good one. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to like go back to my brain place and find one. <laughs> um, well, that's okay. Jeff? Yeah. I don't. I don't really have a favorite. That's so weird. I don't really watch TV. I love the show Survivor. That's that's about all I watch. <laughs> but but no, I, I had a question for you. Oh, oh no, I think they have more questions oh, for us though. Right, that's all right. You got a question for Noel? We'll put him on the spot. Go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Ask your question. Jordan. Okay, no, no, I had a question for you. So, what what, what is your age, your favorite um, uh, 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 music raps? Oh, favorite music. 
Michael Jackson. Oh uh, yeah, classic. <laughs> I, like, I, I, I like I like Tim McGraw. He likes my, Tim my McGraw. father. He wants Tim McGraw and Faith Hill to adopt him. <laughs> yeah. Um, Jeff, yeah. we're back. Back. Oh, to you Jeff now. has another question. Yeah, yeah, Jeff. You got another lightning round, Jeff? Um. What is your favorite superpower and why? Ooh, do you have a favorite Ooh if you could have a superpower, what would it be? Uh, 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 I'd say I, I like the uh, 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 Superman. Yeah, but what, what about him? What power about him do you want? Would you like to have? Uh, well, I guess I, I like the um, uh, like a care, caregiver. Do you you like that he's super strong? You've done yeah, that. I, 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 do, I do my mom myself. Super strong. Super strong. Super strong. Okay. Super strength. I would love the ability to transport places because I'm always running late. <laughs> <laughs> uh, NPT, you got another one? What? Do you like any bonfires? Hmm. We love bonfires. We yes. love bonfires and roasting marshmallows yeah, and yeah, s'mores. Yeah, hot dogs. Hot show. dogs. Mm-hmm. Love bonfires. Yeah. Susie, right. hey, do you have one? Do you have a question? Lighting yes, I do. Okay. Take it away. Do you have dogs, pets? No, no, we no, don't. no, no, no. Uh, some. Some of our friends, they they uh, uh, took um, uh, our dogs. Well, our animals. our brothers, our brothers have dogs, I, but I, I, I um, but we don't. Our our mom and myself are both allergic mm. to dogs and cats. Real, really anything with fur, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah um, so. so it's it's really sad. We're really bad allergic, so we can't have dogs yeah, or cats. Yeah. But our yeah. brothers do, and we just don't go to their house. <laughs> okay, so uh, some of my friends, they um, they all went to a they, 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 they Valley Church. Um, mm-hmm. they, 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 they have our, our dogs. Uh, they did. They and, took and, they and took our Johnny, our, our brother's old dogs. They yes. took, um, they, they yeah. adopted them from yeah. us, didn't they? Yeah. Yep. And then right. Ryan usually has the last say with his favorite, favorite question. I want to take it away, Ryan. Tell us your best joke. Do you have any? Oh, best joke. Uh, favorite joke. Oh goodness. Mm. What's your favorite joke? Well, I guess I like whenever um, my my girls they they kind of about 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 practical. They do. We play a lot of practical jokes. Uh, Our staff has this weird thing. I don't know if it's because we have the ice cream shop and it's like cream or what. I I don't know. Or because we have the coffee shop and we use a lot of milk. But we all like a lot of cow jokes. So we're like, you know, like, what do you call a cow with one leg? Lean beef. <laughs> yeah. Like, what do you call a cow laying on the ground? It's ground beef, or, or no, <laughs> no legs. A cow with no legs is ground beef. Okay, so 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 my girls that that they really like to put put like put, 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 put bug on me. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> they like to put fake bugs on each other, like the little plastic ones. Yeah, and, and, they do that. And, 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 I'm a good, that, that, like, uh, do you have a knock knock joke? Me, 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 my ears. They love to mess with your ears like that. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't uh, like it. No. Do you have a knock knock joke? I, I, I'm a good. Uh, yeah, I, like I play with my ears all the time. Yep. Okay, so 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 I have knock knock joke. <laughs> Go ahead, tell your knock knock joke. All right. No, no. Who's there? Um, my girls. Your girls who? Well. <laughs> I can already tell you don't know the punchline. Uh, so, You're just making this up on the spot. Right the <laughs> so, yeah, that's okay. We're very familiar with those kinds of yeah, Yes. So, uh, I guess my girls. Uh, he was. Hold on. Can I tell you a story about last night at dinner? Last night we're having dinner together as a family. And uh, he goes, well, I have a story to tell. And we're like, is this a real story or a, or a pretend story? And he said, no, it's a real story. It became very clear very quickly. It was a pretend story. <laughs> but he's going to sell it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so, so, so um, yeah, 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 yesterday, 
uh, uh, my, my brother, uh, Booker Williams. Yep. He, he, uh, one of our employees, one Booker. Of our employees, it was Booker. his birthday yesterday. His birthday yesterday. yesterday. He came to cut a five. Mm-hmm. They had a, um, a, 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 a party dinner last night. Yeah. They had a, 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 a pork chop. Or was it a, yeah, we had pork chops, pork chops. And, and we had a good family dinner. Yes. Um, Let's hand it back over to, I think Ryan had the last question. So yeah, I guess so I think we're, I think that's just about it. Um, would you like to throw the website out one more time and then we'll let you go? Yes. www.sweetjordans.com. Awesome. Well, we appreciate you both spending the time with us today. Yes. And thank you for having us. This will be out a little later tonight. And Jeff, would you like to take us a break? Uh, yes, uh, Pete. We'll be right back. Drivecast is brought to you by. Your ad is right here. And today we'd like to thank our Let's Try Rock yeah, sponsors. Rock sponsors. So one last time, we wanted to thank our Strive Rocks 2022 sponsors for making this event possible. Without them, we wouldn't be able to have a successful event. So thank you. Hey, right. thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Yep, thank we'll take you. us a break. Uh, yes, uh, Pete. We'll be right back. We're back. What's the time for now? What? Susie's cues. Right, do it. And off air, we had a request for a score update. So why don't we do that? You sing us in and then we'll get started. Okay, girl. Good. So in sixth place is Susie with 70 points. In fifth place is Jeff with 75 points. And fourth place is Pete with 97 points. In third place is Noel with 106 points. Oof. Not far ahead is Ryan in second place with 107. Ooh, it's tight. <laughs> and then in first place is A plus with 144. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Susie, right. why don't you sing us in quickly and then let us know what Susie's Cues is about. Okay. Susie Cues, Susie Cues, everyone at Susie Cues. Alex is going down. I'm Susie's Cues. All right. What is make it happen. about today? About the plane Today is about paper airplanes. Ooh. Because to Thursday <laughs> is National Paper Airplane Day, May six. Yes, it is, Alex. All right. <laughs> Let's do it. In case you doubted that, Alex. It <laughs> is in fact May True. <laughs> One point for me. <laughs> We're not playing yet. Oh, David, come okay, on. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Paper airplanes created in China in 2,000 years ago. Is that true or False. Oh, true or false? Paper airplanes originated in China 2,000 years ago. And we will start with Susie. I think it's too true. Oh, we did not know. <laughs> Alex. I also think true. Noel. Me too. True. Um, uh, Whitney, I think I'm going with, uh, true. Ryan? 
True. And Pete. You know I want to go out on my own, but I got to stay with the team on this one and say true. Well, good thing you did that because the answer is true. Paper air originated as part of the origami paper folding craft around 2,000 years ago in China and spread mm -hmm. around the world from there. So a point for everybody. <laughs> Yay. Susie, we are in the middle of Susie's cues. What is question two? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yes. <laughs> the longest flight of the airplane was 2,026 feet and 10 inches long by Zoe. Uh, I think it might be Ayob. A Y O B. Iobe. You're related to Joe? Call us and let us know. 2012. So, true or false, the longest flight of a paper airplane was 226 feet and 10 inches, and it was flown by Joe A. in 2012. And we will start with Pete. Can I clarify? Sure. Susie said 2,000 some odd feet. You said yes. 200 and some odd feet. Can I? It is 226 feet. Okay. Then I will say true. true. And Ryan. True. Jeff. Uh, Whitney, I will say uh, true as well, Whitney. No. False. Uh, False. Alex. That's pretty specific, so I'm going to go true. All right. And Susie. True. True. Well, only one of you got it correct, and that person is Noel. Oh. It's false. Oh. This was the record until April of this year when two men from Korea and one from Malaysia teamed up and broke the record, which is now set at 252 feet and seven inches. So congratulations, Noel. A point for you. Good job, Noel. Yeah. Boo. <laughs> Boo. Can you guess how the biggest airplane was? So, before we get started, this is the last Susie's Q's question. Oof. I don't know if we want a lot of points. There is no, so, also no range given. So oh, we just need, then this gun's got to be worth a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, can, I can give you a range. No, we can just go for it. All right. <laughs> so, uh, how big is the world's? This is like a, the big question. <laughs> yeah. So, how many points if you get it spot on? Oh, it should be worth like 200 if you get it spot on. With no be a range. Lot. <laughs> should we do 100? 100 points if you get it exactly right? Yes. Huh? All right. 100 for spot on. Whoa. <laughs> I could get right back in. This is a game changing question. And it ought to be worth quite a few if you get close to the over. Too. 10 if you get closest. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> we need more questions than last. I'm in such a big <laughs> Also, I guess so. There's some decimals in there. So I guess I'll just round up. Okay. Yeah. All right. So. Can we just go with like what are we gonna make up our own like can it be feet, inches? Or are we just gonna have to it is, I will tell that? you it is in feet. Okay. okay. So there's the a decimal too. Keep question it. is can you guess how big the biggest paper airplane is? Mm -hmm. And the answer is in feet, and that is the only clue you are going to receive. So we're gonna start today with Noel. <sighs> Okay, what's the number? That's I the question. I cannot tell you that. I'm <laughs> guessing the number. How big was the biggest paper airplane? And the answer is in feet. I, I think it's nine. No. Yep. Six. Six. Okay. Jeff. Uh, 708,000. I will tell you that's a little too large. So would you guess again? <laughs> uh, um, oh, my brother. 
Um, uh, um, uh, 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 10 by 10 and 10 by 12. Okay. Should I say 10? <laughs> uh, oh, I, 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 I did, uh, 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 I did uh, 10 is the long uh, length of the plane and, <laughs> and, and, and including the wings, but it, but it will be, um, well, uh, it's the length of the wings, but it, um, is probably, um, uh, probably be eight. To nine length of the wings. And, yep, and the big whole, questions are right up Jeff's alley. So, and, and um, and the whole plane itself, it, it will be, um, like um, at the ninety. Ninety. Okay. Okay. Ninety. Final answer. Ninety. Yeah. I should. Jeff brings up a, a good point. Um, the answer is about the wingspan. Okay. And feet. That is important. Good job, Jeff. Thank you, Pete. All right, so we will say 90 for Jeff. Ryan. 75.5. 5. 75. Pete. I'm going to go with 13.7. All right. Alex. I'm going to go with. 48.2. Okay. And Susie. I'm thinking 4.95. All right. Well, I'm sorry to say none of you got it spot on. <laughs> and one of you is closest without going over. The biggest paper airplane had a wingspan of 59.74 feet. And Is it Alex? 2013. So we are awarding Alex 10 points. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. It brings her over 150. Hey, you guys wanted to a lot more points to closest. So. All right. <laughs> All right. Let me do some math here. Alex <laughs> Good question, Susie. Great. We need like a Susie's Q's like midterm exam with like a hundred <laughs> questions so I can have a chance. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Scores are in. And we also have a tie today. So in fifth place is Susie with 71 points. Yes! Fourth place is Jeff with 76 points. 70. Uh, Pete with 98 points. Seven. We now have a tie for second place. Ooh. Both Noel and Jeff have... Um, Noel, Noel and Ryan. Ryan have 108 points. <laughs> and in first place, we have now over 150 points. 151 points for Alex. Wow. Place. Yep, that was, uh... <laughs> you. Um, All right, Susie, you want to sing us out? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Susie's cues. Susie's everyone makes Susie's cues. Yeah. Jeff, want to take us a break? Uh, yes, uh, Pete. We'll be right back. All right, we're back. Mr. Thompson, take it away. No, Thompson's pop culture. Call Thompson's pop culture. Okay. Oh, what's the new top? I, uh, I have a I have a one coming up soon. September 9th is the new Cobra Kai season five. Okay. And I know September 9th? Yeah, and I know who's coming later. Who? The, 
from the next karateka, the female, Julie's coming back, <laughs> and Magero's real dad will show up soon. I don't know what that means, but that sounds impressive. Is that a spoiler, or should people know that already? But it, but that's not all about that series. Uh, no. Okay. All right. And, so that's coming up September 9th, is that what you said? Yeah. Mark your calendars. Yeah. And right here first. And Miguel's dad. <laughs> yeah. That's not the whole plot. Yeah. Maybe he lives maybe he's living in Portland now too. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. And Monday is Memorial Day. Monday is Memorial Day. There's a big movie coming out this weekend. Memorial oh. Day weekend blockbuster. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what it is? Not really. It's the new Top Gun. Yes, I did know that. You were talking about Top Gun years ago. That's right. Before mm. there was a pop culture segment. <laughs> Finally Maverick. coming out. It's been pushed Maverick. back quite a bit. Yeah, Maverick. Mm-hmm. All right. So that's, that's coming out. Can I go see it? I, th- I think it was Mr. Paul. You'll have, to, you'll have to give us a review after you see it. Yep. And that's the end. And that's the end. Okay. That's that. Jeff, would you like to take us to break? Uh, yes, uh, Pete. We'll be right back. We're back. And what's the time for now? Uh, my segment, Pete. All right. The big question yeah. with Jeff. Jeff, what do we got for question today? Um, um, I think I, I think I got one on top of my head. Let's hear um, it. Okay. Um, uh, uh, who is the, um, okay, uh, um, um, who, um, How fit is one person? Oh, you oh. mean? <laughs> How fit is one person? Are you thinking of a specific person? Um. Uh, see, uh, it's like a, a, a random uh, person, but um. What about how fit is the? How fit, fit is a random person? <laughs> oh. I I I I I mean, like, how much? Wait, he can uh, lift. The world's strongest person. Uh, yeah, with with big guns. <laughs> okay. Uh, a lot, I guess. He, he probably could pick up the world's largest paper airplane. <laughs> uh, yep. I'll, I'll search Jeff for that answer. Okay. So it would be essentially, what's the record for the most amount of weight lift? Uh, uh, yeah, weightlifting. Okay. 350 it. pounds. It's Georgian super heavyweight Lasha Talakadazi who captured the oh. weightlifting champions by breaking his own record totaling 484 kilograms or 1,067 pounds. Oh my God. A snatch and clear, clean and jerk. 1,067 pounds. That is very large. He is a very strong looking man, too. Is there, a video? is there a video? Uh, Alex, could you make me co host? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I will share my screen. You can also send that to Jason, too. There he is. That's our buddy Lasha Talakadazi lifting a lot of lot of weight right there. Oh, wow. yeah, that's a lot of weight, dude. Okay, so if you're <laughs> listening to the audio podcast, just take our word for it. Lasha is lifting a lot of weight. So. Wow. Okay, Jeff. Any other big questions this week? Um. Uh. What is what's the the tallest of Everest. 
Uh, he follows Mount Everest? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anybody want to take a guess while I look? 10 feet. No, it's less than 10 feet. It's um, more than 10 feet, but it's... Much more than 10 feet. I think 100 feet. Mount Everest is much more than 100 feet. 10 million feet. Lower than 10 million feet. Oh, it is 10,000. How many, Ryan? 10,000 feet. Higher. Okay. 25,000 A little higher, but we're close, much closer. How about six a zillion? I'm sorry. 27. Higher, Ryan? 30,000 feet. A little lower? 29,000. 29,000. 32 feet. Wow. Mount Everest. Wow. Big, big, big hike there. Do not try that in the weekend. Okay. Jeff, great job with a big question this week. Uh, Thank you, Pete. Thank you very much. Would you like to take us a break? Uh, Yes, Pete. We'll be right back. Livecast is brought to you by listeners like you. Listeners like Caroline and you. Yeah. Hey. yeah. Thanks for listening, Caroline. We appreciate it. Thank you, Caroline. Thank you, Caroline. And if you'd Thank like you. to be our listener of the week, you can be. Just tell us you're listening somehow, some way. Email us. Mention a comment, like us, something, leave us a review, carrier pigeon, any of the above. Okay. All right. Um, Jeff, want to take us a break? Uh, yes, uh, Pete. We'll be right back. All right. Here we go. Time to. Up. It's hard to wrap it up, 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 wrap it up. All right, a, I think it is time to wrap it up. Noel, do you have a sandwich of the day? It's a broccoli salad wrap. Broccoli. <laughs> broccoli salad wrap, the wrap of the day as we wrap it up. All right, anything else we need to do? We should probably thank our guests, right? Yeah. Of course. Okay. (laughs) Would someone like to do that? Yep. Thank you, guests. God bless you. (laughs) All right. And uh, if you'd like to check out Sweet Jordans, um, the website again is sweetjordans.com. And they're located in Paris, Tennessee, and expanding shortly. So thanks to them for, for joining us today. Okay, Ryan, are we still hiring? Yes, we are. Strive is still hiring, and with a sign-on bonus of $1,750. Check out pslstrive.org slash employment for more information of our employment opportunities with Strive. Awesome. Anything else anybody would like to put out there? I don't think so. No. Okay, then I think we're all done. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll see you all next week. Bye. 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 Thanks for listening.